I have bought a Mac Mini, a portable monitor and a pair of keyboard and mouse. Is it possible to put all of this together so that I don't have to blow a fortune on a brand new MacBook? This is not the latest and greatest Mac Mini 2018 Intel Mac Mini i7. And in order to connect it, we need this kind of a power cable. I kind of have to do everything with one hand because I have like this kind of a microphone. Wait. <laughs> Just go in, okay. So that's done. The Mac Mini is set up. The next important component would be this portable monitor that I bought off of Amazon. It also came with this one. That's a leather case, by the way. And to set up this portable monitor, we need this kind of a cable. It's like a HDMI on one end and something else on the other. So both of these are now connected together. This one also needs a power source. Can I put, can I connect it with one hand? Can I do it? Can I do it? Okay. Yes, I did it. And now I just plug this power source into the monitor. And then I also need this case for the monitor. So that there's actually something that holds it up. Oh, oh, and it's turned on. I have set up the monitor and I have set up the Mac Mini. Of course, we are gonna need something to use the Mac with. And for that, I have a mouse and a keyboard. And you turn it on as well. There's like a, like a switch right here for both of them. And there's also a mouse pad. Pretty simple setup. I also need this receiver for the mouse and keyboard. Now what we have to do is turn everything on. The Mac has a power button right here. It automatically connects to the Mac and there it is. And I also have the keyboard already connected. I think let's check it out. So this monitor, I really like the colors. It's very rich in colors. Let's check out what are the ways we can customize this monitor. We can set hertz and we also have high dynamic range. And there is also like a button on the side which we can press. Can I somehow manage to move my setup? Ow. My toe! Ouch. And there's like this customization menu. And there's stuff like brightness, contrast, DCR, sharpness. And this monitor also has built-in speakers. So I think let's open up YouTube. This is not okay. The speaker sounds terrible, but I guess you can use it, you know. The Mac Mini also has a built-in speaker. It's also terrible. And one more thing I wanted to do. Right now we have the monitor connected through a electrical outlet. And what I want to do is take it out and let's plug it into the Mac Mini, into the USB-C port. I want to see if it can run from the Mac Mini. It works. Somehow the wallpaper changed. I was a bit skeptical if it's gonna run because the USB-C port outputs only like 15 watts of power, I think. And this monitor needs a minimum of 18 watts of power. Yeah, so it does work. I also have the HDMI connected. And for some reason it's showing up as two different monitors. Or wait, I know what's the issue. We can just plug this one out. So we don't need this one anymore, the HDMI. You can now connect the monitor through only one cable. But this this whole setup is a lot cheaper than a real MacBook. I mean, the screen is kind of small, it's only 13.3 inches, but you can get a bigger one as well. For some reason, I got one of the smallest sizes they had. And also, I would like some suggestions how could we improve this DIY MacBook.